Hello, welcome to the programme. After weeks of apparent rapprochement between North Korea and the West, and just under a month before the summit between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, a problem. Pyongyang says it will cancel the meeting if Washington presses ahead with demands for the North to unilaterally give up its nuclear arsenal. Earlier, the North pulled out of planned talks with South Korea. So, was the apparent thaw in relations all too good to be true? Well, it was described as the nuclear option, and many people didn't think it would happen, but the government in Madrid has decided to invoke Article 155. Now, what does that mean? That's uh, Article 155 of the 1978 Constitution. It's never been used before, but effectively, it is imposing direct rule on Catalonia from Madrid. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, here he is to host you this evening. Please put your hands together for Mr. Tim Wilcox. On behalf of the Maritime Standard Team, it is my great pleasure and honour to welcome you all here for the fifth annual Maritime Standard Awards. The ceremony here at the wonderful Atlantis Hotel in Dubai. <laughs> Hello, a very warm welcome to Dateline London with me, Tim Wilcox. This week we discuss the perilous situation for millions of civilians in Idlib as government forces prepare to clear the last remaining rebel stronghold in Syria's northwestern province. Well, this is one of the main streets in Ejish, one of the worst affected towns by Sunday's earthquake. And if you look here, frantic activity continues trying to find survivors. Rescue teams joined by inhabitants of this town of 77,000 people. Many of them have shovels, pickaxes and other things as well. Digging through all that masonry, hoping that some of the inhabitants of this block of flats will still be found alive. Barely 15 minutes drive from the Casa Rosada, the heart of the Argentine government, are areas of crippling poverty. We're here in Bia 2124. Uh, Practically no one has uh, a full-time job. People are so poor, they can't afford to buy food. And a, a government-run soup kitchen, which has been in existence from the 1990s, has been set up uh, to feed those families who, if they didn't have this, would simply go without. 